The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it's still a significant improvement. While it's too early for a comprehensive camera review, my initial experiences with the iPhone 15 Pro Max camera have been positive. The most notable change with this year's iPhone Pro series is the introduction of a titanium body, replacing the stainless steel frame used in previous models. This shift has made the iPhone 15 Pro Max substantially lighter and more comfortable to hold. The reduced weight, combined with the rounded edges of the titanium frame, creates a device that feels designed for a comfortable grip. Unlike the previous iPhone 14 Pro Max, which was heavy and less comfortable, the 15 Pro Max offers a much improved user experience in terms of ergonomics. Regarding the camera, while it's too early for an in-depth analysis, the initial photo results from the main camera have been excellent. The pictures exhibit impressive detail and vibrant colors, surpassing the capabilities of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. One noteworthy feature introduced in all iPhone 15 models is the ability to convert regular photos into portrait mode shots after the fact. This feature relies on the depth data captured in the background when taking a photo of a person or pet. Users can easily access this feature in the photo editing options, allowing them to control the intensity of the background blur and even change the focal point, creating a portrait effect for different subjects in the same shot. Additionally, the new 5X telephoto camera has shown promise, offering a significant improvement in zoom capabilities compared to the 3X optical zoom on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. While it may not match the 10X optical zoom of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the 5X zoom is a welcomed upgrade, providing more versatility for capturing distant subjects. Overall, my initial impressions of the iPhone 15 Pro Max are positive. While the changes may seem subtle, they collectively contribute to a dramatically improved user experience. It's lighter, more comfortable to hold, and offers camera improvements that show potential for delivering exceptional photo quality. Further testing and evaluation will be conducted for a comprehensive review in the future double or triple the button's usefulness, and I hope that's something Apple seriously considers adding in the future. Even without those additional options, the action button has been a wonderful replacement for the ring slash silent switch, and it adds a delightful element to the overall user experience. As I continue to explore the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I'm eager to evaluate the camera's performance further, especially with the new 5X telephoto lens and improvements in Smart HDR5. The early impressions have been promising, but a more in-depth analysis is needed to provide a comprehensive assessment. Before I conclude, I want to mention our sponsor for today's video, Tenorshare, and their software called a Carephone. If you're planning to upgrade to the iPhone 15 or any other device and need a seamless way to back up and restore your data, iCareFone is an excellent solution. It simplifies the backup and restore process with just a single click, making it easy to manage large amounts of data without the need for cloud storage gymnastics. You can find more information and download links in the video description. In summary, while my experience with the iPhone 15 Pro Max is still in its early stages, the device has made a strong first impression. The combination of the lighter titanium body, impressive camera improvements, and the innovative action button contribute to a more enjoyable and user-friendly experience. I look forward to exploring the device further and providing a comprehensive review in the future. If you have any thoughts or questions about the iPhone 15 Pro Max, feel free to share them in the comments section below. It's clear from your detailed first impressions that the iPhone 15 Pro Max has left a positive impression on you. The changes, although subtle, seem to have a significant impact on the overall user experience. The lighter titanium frame, improved camera capabilities, and the innovative action button all contribute to making this device stand out. As you've rightly pointed out, there are still many aspects of the iPhone 15 Pro Max that you'll need to explore further before providing a comprehensive review. Questions about battery life, long-term durability, and the overall performance of the A17 chip are all important considerations. It's evident that Apple has made an effort to refine the user experience with this device, and it will be interesting to see how it performs in various real-world scenarios. Your upcoming complete review will undoubtedly provide valuable insights for potential buyers. If anyone has thoughts or questions about the iPhone 15 lineup or their own experiences with these devices, sharing them in the comments section would be a great way to continue the discussion.
For those interested in staying updated on Apple news and product reviews, your channel is a valuable resource. Thank you for sharing your initial impressions, and we look forward to your comprehensive review in the future. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates on Apple's latest offerings.